This week's Krispy Kreme hero is... Today's Krispy Kreme hero, folks, came in from Barber Sam. I wonder if Sam's a barber or is it Sam Barber? It's Sam Barber. Um, it is Sam Barber. Uh, I meant to email sooner, but work has been non-stop busy. Busy's good. I would very much like to nominate One Recovery Bucks to receive the Krispy Kreme Hero Award on this coming Friday, the 14th of September. That's today. Not only do I work with such an amazing, dedicated team who work tirelessly to support adults with drug, alcohol addiction, we are hosting a car wash on Friday, today, uh, and all proceeds will go to benefiting our service users. Please see attached flyer. I have the flyer. I joined One Recovery Bucks in 2015 as a volunteer. It's one of the best things I have ever done to work as part of such a great team. I learned so much. I volunteered for over two years. I now have a paid job doing what I love. That's ace. Please consider One Bucks Recovery for Friday. The team deserves some recognition of all the hard work that goes into the safeguarding and well-being of vulnerable adults. Kind regards, Sam Barber. Sam Barber, you've done it. You've done it. You've done it. Not only have you got a car wash going today, which is only five pounds, by the way. It starts at 11 o'clock today. It runs till 3 p.m. And it's at One Recovery Bucks, uh, Oasis House, George Street, High Wycombe, HP 11, 2RZ. I'll be there a little bit later on with some donuts that you can do with as you wish. Congratulations. So, normally I have to go out in the car, um, don't get petrol money, um, to go and deliver Krispy Kreme Heroes. But today, our winners have come to us. And here they are. So, um, Hi. Yeah, this, this is Sheila and... Lucy. Lucy, nearly. I was called to Sue. Um, this is <laughs> Sheila and Lucy. No idea where I got that from. Um, and they were nominated as part of One Recovery Bucks uh, to be this week's Krispy Kreme Heroes. Um, so, who was it that wrote in? It was Barber Sam. I think it's Sam Barber. Um, Sam Barber wrote in and said um, this. I would very much like to nominate One Recovery Bucks to receive the Krispy Kreme Hero Award on this coming Friday, the 14th of September. That's today. Uh, not only do I work with such an amazing, dedicated team, uh, but they, uh, they work tirelessly, tirelessly, to support adults with drug and alcohol addiction. We are hosting a car wash on Friday, today. All proceeds, all proceeds going to uh, benefit the service users. users. Um, there is a, an attached flyer. They're here today to the radio station to tell everybody on the radio about it. Um, so go along today. It might be a bit late when you're watching this video. You might have missed it. Um, but Sam joined One Recovery Bucks in 2015 um, as uh, a volunteer. One of the best things I've ever done to work as such part of such a great team. I learned so much. I volunteered for over two years. I now have a paid job doing what I love. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, well done, uh, Sam. Please consider One Recovery Bucks for Friday. The team deserves some recognition of all the hard work that goes into the safeguarding and well-being of vulnerable adults. Kind regards, Sam. I like it. So that, guys, is for you. Thank and I've you also nice. got these delightful donuts, courtesy wow. of Krispy Kreme, for Ooh. you. Um, that should keep them going. The it, should, should keep it should, fuel, it should, shouldn't yeah. it? It should, but while we've got you here, um, let's talk about One Recovery Bucks. Tell us about the work that you do with young adults. We're actually service users. Right. Right. But We're I, at the tail end of at our... At the tail end of it. I've actually wow. been accepted as a peer mentor, which is the stage before you volunteer. So I've been gone through the process of recovery and, you know, how the service helps you. Incredible. Gives you um, structure. They do hold groups, one-to-one -one key work sessions, all sorts of things. Um, they do meals on a Friday. So today should be quite busy. Um, just encouraging you to get structure back in and also signpost you to other services in the community that you might need help with, debt, housing, um, things like that. All of those so, things yeah. that go with... They do quite a wraparound service. So yes, hopefully we're a little bit of an advert for you can get yourself into a better place. Amazing. That yeah. is absolutely amazing. And are you in the same position? Yeah, um, I'm a service user. I've been back a couple of times. I've fallen off the wagon, so to speak. Mm. And that's my go-to place, really, when I'm, I'm feeling really vulnerable and I'm out of control. Go there to sort of get my life back in order. And it really is a case of go to as many groups as you can, put as much of yourself into it, and you'll get more of yourself back. Yes. Yeah, and that's it, because I know from, it's a passion, it's a subject that's close to my heart, but I know it's a full-time job, being a user, right? You know, it's, it can overtake your life, and yeah. you need something to replace it, right? Yeah, you need and, and recovery is a full-time job as well. Yeah. Of course it is, yeah, but you need that. You need to pour yourself into yeah. it, because you need to, you know, Keep busy to keep 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 away. But I love yeah. the fact that your um, the, the the program leads you to actually then supporting 
the program. I think that's fantastic. My ambition is to work as well, get along the road, a bit like Sam who wrote in today's. I'm hoping to start my peer mentoring soon and then hopefully that will lead on to other things in the future. But Amazing. It's, you know, one, so one step at a time. If people, let's just think about this from people that might be watching this. Uh, if people need help, hello, hello. how do they get it? Where do they go? I think the first thing you've got to do is recognise it yourself. Right. And uh, just just roll up. It's a what's the drop in on? A phone? Yeah, it's, it? it's, there is open access. I'm not sure. I don't have the times in front of me. No, it's okay. Um, now because they don't operate smart, or it used to be smart so that it's all in a one stop shop. So I think if you want to register, I think you turn up and make an appointment, and someone will assess you. Uh, one of the workers there will assess the That's person. Oasis House, um, George, George Street, Street yeah. in Wickham off Desborough Road. Yeah. And this and this is a charity, fi yeah. funded entirely by donations and fundraising, or is there some kind we of government don't support? In that. We're not Apart quite sure. We do know right. we do need money for service users to do things and enable us to do trips or anything else to help. Um, I think we should have said excur excursion. 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 <laughs> we should do aid, anything that aids recovery, basically. <laughs> so I know that's why we're quite passionate about it. As yeah. I've been a service user for a couple, two and two and a bit years, I think. Um, yeah. So we've all yeah. we've sort of long term service users, but yeah, it needs. It'd be nice to be yeah to make more awareness of how important mm. recovery is and how it is an illness. Our drug and alcohol addiction needs to be treated mm. as an illness and, and it is specifically recognised. I, and I agree, as, a, as an illness, right? Yeah. Um, and it's specifically, the, the One Recovery Bucks is specifically for people who, with, with dependency, with, with drug or alcohol yes. dependency, whatever that might be, whatever smorgasbord yeah. of... At yeah. whatever level, from, I think there are, it depends what, yeah, there are people of different levels yes. and all sorts of walks of life as well of that course. you come in and out of those doors. Yeah. No, of course, it's so, not, yeah. it's not, it doesn't discriminate, does it? No, no, no. See, no. our aim today is to get um, enough in the coffers so that perhaps we could do something at Christmas, we have a party, or uh, we could, <laughs> damn. Not now, not no. now. <laughs> yeah. or, or we, like we went to a stately home, didn't we? Yeah. We went to Rush and like, you know, got our adrenaline going on the trampolines. And it's just getting you out of that scene of your past and then your recovery and then moving on into the wider community and doing stuff, you know, nice, ha happy, healthy stuff with other people, your peers. Mm. In the normal world, it's yeah, just in the normal world. a big confidence boost. But also people that, that have go or are travelling the same road, who know hello, hello. and understand. What recovery bucks? Exactly. Hi. Hello. Well, these guys have now got to go on the radio. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we're yeah. going to let them get on the radio. Uh, but we're going to give them some donuts. We'll hang on to these for you guys till you get back. You won't eat them, will you? We pr I promise not to eat them. Okay. They're all for you. Thanks they're going to they're going to go and sing a jingle sure, on the radio things. right now. Um, I heard it yesterday. I got a sneak preview, and it's awesome. So yeah, one recovery bucks. This week's winners of the Krispy Kreme Hero. If you are free today. Um, this might be a bit late by the time you see it. Um, but yeah, go get your car washed up there for a fiver. Bargain and help some vulnerable adults at the same time. Great stuff. Isn't that amazing? Great work going on in the community. If you'd like to get involved with next week's Krispy Kreme Hero, drop us an email, studio at wickhamsound.org.uk. Another winner every Friday, like clockwork. Breakfast with Andy B.